the Turret Clinics, Men's Health Centers in San Francisco and in Los Angeles. You know what my favorite thing to do is in, in, in my field, in surgery? Vasectomy reversals. You know what my second favorite thing to do is? Redo vasectomy reversals. Um, they're quite a challenge. You have to, it's like a house that's been remodeled not the way you want it, and you want to remodel it again. So you have to go back to the basics and rebuild it. And I consider a lot of these to be the Olympics of microsurgery because you have to deal not only with biology, but with someone else's footsteps. Uh, and it's, uh, it can be challenging. I've developed lots of little tricks to make them work as best as possible. Uh, and so it's something I find very interesting, very stimulating. And I use the, you know, the most extreme microsurgical techniques. I use steroids in addition, which I don't normally do on vasectomy reversals. I use a, a secret chemotherapy agent to prevent scarring that I'm very hot on right now that is quite unique. And with those things and attention to detail, you can pretty much achieve almost identical success rates to the original vasectomy reversal. So take a man who's 15 years out from his vasectomy and uh, has a reversal and it fails. I will typically, in a, in a virgin case, not a redo, have a success rate of about 95% chance of getting sperm to return in the ejaculate. With a redo vasectomy reversal, I ravage at about 90 to 95. So there's a small difference. And you do have to worry about things like scar tissue that comes on afterwards. At a, a lot of, so I follow these men longer. I follow them more carefully. I make a lot of, I'm very aggressive medically afterwards to get that sperm count up the way we want it to be. Because you know, my goal is your goal. The kid is the goal, it's not a sperm count. Don't, don't pat yourself on the back with a sperm count. Pat yourself on the back when, that, when they call it the pregnancy. That's the math, that's what has to matter. And I also encourage couples to free sperm at the time, because if there's a risk it happened once, it could happen again. And having sperm in the bank for future use can be very valuable and I offer that option to everybody at the time. So uh, yeah, you want a surgeon who can handle it. You want a surgeon who has the skill set after 3,000 cases. We published a series of 1,300 cases with good success rates, which included around almost 20% redo reversals within that, within that group. So um, I, yeah, I, I, get a, I get excited about redo reversals. It's, they're bigger challenges, but, that, but I'm up for it.